All right, good evening, everybody, and welcome to our fifth grade uh, orchestra and choir concert. My name is Cami Tadoldi. I am the director of K-12 Music here in Foxborough, and I'm also privileged to have your students in my classroom, and I truly enjoy working with them. Um, I'm excited about tonight's concert, and I was just saying to them earlier, like, remember back in September when I saw all of you at instrument rental night, and you were looking at me like, what are we getting ourselves into? And I said, just trust us. And um, they sound really great, and they've really grown so much, and they're going to do some pretty cool stuff in front of you tonight. So uh, before we get started, just a couple of housekeeping rules. I know this is our first concert in the auditorium here at the Ahern Middle School. So in order for us to make sure that this performance is fantastic for our students on stage, we ask that the audience uh, silences any of their noise-making devices. We are so fortunate to have Foxborough Cable Access live streaming this for us, and the concert will also be available on YouTube at a later date. So this gives you the opportunity to be present tonight and not have to watch the concert through your your recording devices. So they're doing that good stuff for you so that you're able to be present here this evening with us. Um, lastly, if you need to get up during the performance at any time, we just ask that you do it in between pieces. There are bathrooms located down by the gym and there are also some single stall bathrooms located here. Um, and if for any reason um, you need to kind of have a break or stand or have a young child who needs to move around, um, the, the hallway in the back is a great space for them to do that, and you can also still enjoy the concert from here, from that, that point of view. Um, and then this concert is actually happening in two parts tonight. So this first part is orchestra and chorus, and that's at six o'clock. When that portion of the concert is over, we are asking that everybody depart the auditorium so that the students who are in the band um, can fill the space. Um, if you have students in band, both in choir and band, we invite you to stay seated. Um, we will, the orchestra students will be available to leave after the choir has performed. So that will probably be about 6.40, all right? So they're gonna come off stage. We're actually gonna watch the live stream together so we can hear our chorus friends sing. And then they will be dismissed to you and they'll meet you out back and you can take them home. Uh, we really appreciate you being here tonight. And we are going to get started, and I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Glynn, who will be conducting our first piece, St. Lawrence Overture. Please welcome Mr. Glynn and the Fifth Grade Orchestra.
Thank you very much. So I just wanted to talk very briefly um, about a flyer you may have noticed was right next to the programs back there. We have an annual summer camp, or a summer program, excuse me, here at the Ahern Middle School every year for, it's been going for decades and we haven't been able to do it the last two years, so we're very excited to bring it back this summer. Um, it's called the Summer Instrumental Music Collaborative, SIMC, as it's come to be known. Um, and it's the last week of June and the first week of July. You can select one or, or both weeks, um, if you prefer, whatever fits your schedule. And it's uh, every weekday from um, 8.15 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. So I like to tell students it's like a half day of school in the summer where your only two classes are like band and orchestra and recess. Um, we keep it, you know, they tend to like that. We keep it very light, very fun, very easy going. We do a lot of music um, from movies and TV shows and just enjoyable things to play while also getting better at our instruments. Uh, there's a lot of recreational activities too, like in a, what you would imagine in a typical camp, like capture the fr uh, uh, flag or frisbee, um, things like that. We do a lot of spirit days, like dress up days, costume days, red, white, and blue days. Um, and it's a great chance just for students to come here and uh, we get to make music all together as a staff and students with both college students as well as um, high school students here from Foxborough. Um, so it's, it's a great opportunity. We highly encourage your students to do that or something else musical during the summer. So if that's something that interests you or interests your child, please uh, check out those flyers and feel free to ask any questions to any of the music teachers. I'm going to turn it back over to Ms. Tadouli for the rest of the orchestra.
you. We played that one at String Fest, but we wanted to do it again because we liked it so much. And I like uh, repeating songs. Um, because sometimes when you put something away for a little bit and then you pull it back out, you realize how easy it is. Um, so it kind of like gives them a little bit of a confidence boost. So that was exciting for us to revisit that piece and kind of tweak it and add some special touches to it. So that was fun for us to redo for you tonight. Um, this next piece, Rhythm and Blues, um, is pretty cool. The nice piece about it is that it introduces, introduces us a little bit to blues, which is a, um, an American art form. And you're actually going to see uh, several students come to the front of the stage and they're going to improvise a solo tonight. So we worked on in class, improvising, that's part of our music curriculum, um, is along with reading notation is also the ability to improvise, which means to make up things as you go along. And of course we teach about what that means in terms of harmonic structure and what you're trying to convey, you're trying to tell a story, we talk about um, pattern creations and how to take what, what you hear in your brain and put it onto your instrument. So this is just the beginning of our students learning how to improvise. It's a really, really important part of the creative process. So I'm super excited for you to hear our soloists. You're gonna see them all line up and they're very brave and I'm very proud of them for all taking a solo tonight. And um, it is appropriate to clap after a, a soloist has uh, finished their solo. So that's totally fine to do that. Uh, during the song. So this is Rhythm and Blues, and we will also be accompanied by Mr. Glynn on drum set. And you'll also hear us in the middle turn ourselves into a drum set as well as we work on our rhythmic skills, um, body coordination, and all of those things that come along with learning how to be musicians. So here is Rhythm and Blues. Brady on viola. That's Megan on violin. Charlotte on violin. Grace on my life. Isabella. 
Love Island. Carolina violin. Kylie on violin. Emma on violin. Sophia on violin. on bass. Here we go.
and let's have our soloists stand up. If you just took a solo, have a stand. Another round of applause for our soloists. They were awesome. Yeah. And we all did that in class. So everybody had a chance to solo in class. And then I said, if that was something you wanted to do at the concert, you got to do it. So um, it was, you know, everyone's choice, whatever they wanted to do. So it was really fun for us to be able to do that. So uh, I just wanted to say again, thank you for allowing us to teach your students music this year, for having them in our program. Um, we hope that they will stick with it and, and stay with us and continue. And I hope that I'll see them in sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. And I also teach up at the high school, so I'm really looking forward to seeing um, them progress through our program. The Foxborough Music Program has a whole lot to offer. Um, and we think that music is just a really important part of our lives. It's a creative outlet. It uses all the parts of our brain. It helps us be in touch with who we are as humans. And it's one of those things that you can do for the rest of your life. I have never met an adult who says that I wish, I'm so glad that I quit my instrument when I started it. Am I right? <laughs> so just remember that, right? Um, when, they are, when they're struggling, it's part of the process, part of the learning process. Um, encourage them to stick with it. Reach out to us if there's anything that we can do. Uh, this is a partnership. So we are excited about being involved in their education. So please, please, please reach out to us with any questions. Um, but we are just thrilled with what they've learned this year. And we just know that the future is very bright. So it's truly been a pleasure. This last song is uh, some hits from Queen. So I think maybe you guys can help us out with this. Um, you, you in for it? Yeah? OK, cool. You know this. Got it? Look at that. Our amazing fifth grade orchestra students. Thank you all so, so much. Thank you. All right. I'm going to invite our orchestra students off the stage. And if you give us like a couple of minutes, Mr. Glenn and I are going to get our workout in and move some chairs and put the risers down. And then uh, we're going to bring our chorus, chorus out. So if you just bear with us for a couple of moments. Thank you.
Got it to work. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Miss McAuliffe. I have been the chorus teacher here for about two and a half weeks. So <laughs> haven't been here long. Um, but I am actually an alumni of the program here. So I was so excited to be asked back and to come and work with your students, even though it's been two and a half weeks. It has been really wonderful. Your students have been so welcoming and kind to me. Um, They've really made this job pretty easy for the last two weeks, and we're super excited to share with you the two pieces that we've been working on. So we will start with Peace I Leave With You. So this year in fifth grade, we're really just working on learning how to access all the different parts of our voice. So that song and the song you'll hear next have quite a range to them. So we're learning how to use our chest voice, how to use our head voice, and how to sing all of these notes beautifully. So um, next, we will be singing a class favorite, the papaya song, which is very upbeat and very fun. And we all love singing it. In this piece, you'll actually hear at the end, half the choir is gonna be singing one part and the other part of the choir will be singing a different part of the song at the same time. So as they move on to sixth grade choir and beyond, they'll start singing music with a lot of different parts happening at the same time. So this was a great song to start to dip our toes into that and learn how to hear our own part but also hear all the parts happening around us.
for this concert. So thank you for coming. If you're staying for band, great. Have a good night.
Good evening, my name is Cami Tadoldi. I am the Director of Music here in the Foxborough Public Schools, and I want to welcome you this evening to our spring band concert. These are our fifth graders, and we're really excited to have them this evening. Um, they're going to be conducted this evening by Mr. Albro. Um, Ms. Greenleaf is usually here with us, but she's unable to be here this evening. But what I'd like to do is before we start, since this is our first concert in the auditorium here at the Ahern, is I'd just like to talk a little bit about how we can all help to make sure that this concert is really amazing for these band students because they've worked so hard and we want you to be able to enjoy the concert as well. First of all, in the back, we have Foxborough Cable Access joining us this evening and they're live streaming this performance. So the good news about that is that you don't have to film them. So you can sit and be present and enjoy your students and then the performance will be on YouTube later for your viewing and you can share it around the world. I even heard there are some people turning, tuning in from Germany to watch us tonight, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we're grateful for that. Secondly, if you have any noise making devices, please make sure that they're turned off so that they don't interrupt the performance. Um, secondly, if you need to leave the auditorium at any time, there's exits in the back, there's bathrooms down that way, and also to the right here. And we kindly ask that you do that in between songs. And then if for any reason there's someone who might need a break from sitting in the auditorium, um, you can take them to the back out in the, the lobby there, and there's plenty of space to move around and stand, um, but also keep it so that we can all be seated in here and enjoy the concert together. So thank you for working with us on that. And uh, again, we are so, so proud of the students here tonight. And without further ado, I'm gonna welcome Mr. Abro to the stage in the fifth grade concert band. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Mr. Glynn has a couple words for us, so. 
Thank you. It'll be very quick. I just wanted to bring um, everyone's attention to a flyer that you might have seen right next to the program for our annual summer program that we he have here at the Ahern Middle School, hosted by the Foxborough Music Association. It's called SIMC, uh, and it's a really um, excellent program that we love teaching at, and we love having lots of students from the middle school at which I've explained it to students. Basically, it's like a half day of school where your only classes are band and orchestra and recess. So it's a lot of fun. Um, it's, it's from 8.15 to 12.15 every day for two weeks, the last week of June and the first week of July. We have a lot of, um, we, we play a lot of light music, a lot of fun music. We still learn how to play our instruments. If your child is thinking of switching to a different instrument, that's the perfect time to be able to do it. Um, and to get a little bit of a head start on next year in sixth grade. Uh, we also have a lot of high school students that come and, and assist us, as well as some college students who were students here in Foxborough and are now music education majors at various colleges and universities. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, we'd love to see them and we'd love to have them. Um, and again, there's flyers in the back, or you could always um, ask any of the music teachers any more questions about that. That's all I got. Thank you very much. Here's Mr. Albro. so much that was in the jungle made famous by the Lion King um, hopefully you're hearing a difference from what you heard in December we've been working super hard to learn what actually goes into one of these pieces in December when we were playing we were mostly playing the same melody all together all at the same time which made it quite easy to stay together the first piece we played for you this evening actually at moments in the piece had four very different melodic lines occurring at the same time. So we're learning to listen and be confident in what we're, our part is supposed to be while combining with other parts. And especially in that piece, we're really working to learn how to control the volume of our instrument from the range from very quiet to very powerful to give us much more exciting options to express ourselves for each piece. Okay, thank you.
So that's kind of a descriptive piece between the stomping and the featuring the trombones. We can really kind of feel that walrus. Uh, before we start our last piece, I just want to say hi to Miss Greenleaf, and we miss you, and I hope I see you soon. Um, she's very disappointed to not be with you tonight, but uh, hopefully she's at home watching, and we'll see her soon. So thank you again so much for joining us tonight. This last week is in a rock blues style. It's called Geology. Thank you. 